Hey guys, this is Matt. Uh, I just wanted to do a video for you today on books. Uh, I finally got all of my uh, required materials bought, ordered, and received. Uh, so I just want to kind of go through the books that I'm using, at least for first semester. Uh, and then talk about price as far as, because uh, buying books is pretty expensive. So number one, big, the respiratory care, principles and practice, uh, second edition, Hess is how it's usually uh, labeled as the author there. Um, kind of your, your bread and butter. They've told us this is pretty much the book we only have to buy once, so uh, don't rent it and don't sell it back because you'll probably use this all four or five semesters, however many your program has. So, uh, so I'm excited to kind of flip through that. Uh, next little book, The Little Respiratory Notes. It has all kinds of handy dandy stuff kind of broken down into all kinds of different uh, little bits there. So, and it's waterproof and reusable. Awesome. Uh, so I've already been flipping through that a little bit, just kind of reading uh, some of the stuff. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, big guy here, laboratory exercises for competency in respiratory care. Uh, so I think this was uh, for my big uh, lab class. Uh, haven't really flipped through this one much yet, but uh, got that. And the last two that I have so far for this semester, cardiopulmonary A and P, and the associated workbook for that. So uh, haven't flipped much through that one yet either, but I'm pretty excited to to kind of get started here. Uh, that's all of my required materials. I did not buy two recommended uh, books. I think they were on the mechanical ventilation. Uh, they were listed as recommended, uh, not required, but they were really expensive. I think the book, the text, was something like $1.99 new at my bookstore. Used was probably 130, 140, and it was already sold out. Uh, and then the workbook for that class was like $100, obviously not available to use, it's a workbook. Uh, I haven't poked around Amazon yet for those to see if I could find those cheaper. I was kinda gonna just wait till I go to class, see if it's recommended for a reason and not required, and, and see what I have to do about that. So worst case, I'll, I'll expedite those to myself, but uh, to talk about pricing a little bit, uh, I got everything off Amazon. So, Amazon, I guess at, at a base level, what normally comes up, wasn't really any cheaper than my bookstore was as far as new books went. Uh, that was something like, this book was 155 new at my bookstore. I think Amazon had it listed for 160, 170 even. Um, so, I scored this book for $60 shipped, new. So if you pull up on Amazon and you search by the ISBN, uh, which I recommend doing because that kind of guarantees that you pull up the right edition and the right book, uh, you, you go down under and it always says like uh, used from at a price or new from at a price. And so when I pulled up this book actually, the new from said like $30 and so it just kind of caught my interest so I clicked it and all these alternate sellers come up. Now the first two sellers, uh, no offense to these guys, but $30 seemed like too good to be true uh, in a new condition and when you look at those sellers ratings and they're like two or three stars and they've sold like one thing on Amazon, uh, in the marketplace, of course, that's not exactly uh, an easy sell there. But the third guy on the list was some, you know, 
alternate selling marketplace bookstore, 400,000 reviews, five stars, and they had the book listed for $57 plus $3.99 shipping in new condition, and I can validate this thing is brand new. Uh, it was wrapped up, plastic, everything, no marks, no nothing, no water damage. You know, sometimes I've seen people complain that they bought new, but it was because it got like uh, flooded or something, but this book has no damage. So, uh, you know, buyer beware there a little bit. Uh, but definitely check out alternate sellers because I saved a ton of money doing it that way. Uh, not everything I got new, uh, the respiratory notes was new. Uh, obviously the cardio pulmonary workbook is new, still in plastic. Uh, I didn't want a workbook that already had been worked. That didn't make any sense, but uh, the cardio pulmonary A&P text is pre-owned through a marketplace seller on Amazon and so is my laboratory exercises. So. Uh, Originally, when I priced out my books at my bookstore, including the two that are recommended, I, I, it was looking to cost right around seven to eight hundred dollars to get everything used. So that was nothing new, everything used. Uh, and I've managed to get all of these books so far for three hundred dollars, including shipping. Uh, so be diligent when you're shopping. Uh, beware of deals that are way too good to be true. So obviously, a uh, $155 book for 30 bucks, mm, you know, be wary before you spend the money, double check or verify, you know, if it's through like uh, eBay's store, uh, you know, double check their ratings. You know, are they good, are they, are they garbage? Uh, buy from vetted marketplace people on Amazon, you know, positive reviews, five stars, thousands and thousands of, of deals. You know, don't buy anyone who's just flipping their textbooks because you don't know what kind of condition you're gonna get, so. If you've bought your books for this upcoming semester or uh, you have any other advice about buying textbooks, uh, Definitely leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video if you want to see more videos like this uh, and ongoing as we get closer to the start of semester with respiratory care uh, and school. Subscribe. Uh, my classes start officially uh, August 29th. So the actual school starts the 24th, but since we have class Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and Thursdays is a lab. We're not actually starting until that following Monday. So August 29th, officially start. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the subscribes, the likes, uh, the comments, the conversation. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to doing more videos and talking to you guys. All right, take care. Have a great day.